Hi everyone, lots of you will have heard of something called Group A Strep. It's all over the news at the moment and it's caused a great deal of worry and anxiety, especially amongst parents and carers. So I thought I'd do a very simple and quick explainer of what you need to know. Now there are lots of information videos online, especially on social media, so please feel free to have a look at those. But if you want more information, you can go to the NHS website or speak to a healthcare professional if you're worried. So what is group A strep? Group A strep is a common type of bacteria and it can affect both children and adults. In fact, it's carried naturally by around one in five children in the throat or on the skin and it doesn't always cause a problem. Sometimes it can cause an infection, usually infections of the throat like scarlet fever and tonsillitis in children or of the skin like cellulitis and impetigo. Most of these are mild and treatable. Now we are seeing a lot more cases of scarlet fever than we usually would do at the moment. And symptoms include a temperature, a sore throat, a red tongue, a rash of lots of little spots that feel like sandpaper when you touch them. These spots can be red in appearance, but not always, especially if you've got darker skin. So if you Google scarlet fever rash, you'll see examples in different skin tones. It can give you swollen glands in the neck. It can make you feel generally unwell. And later on in the illness, you may get peeling of the skins of the hands and feet. Occasionally, the bacteria can get into the bloodstream or other parts of the body like the lungs and cause serious illness like sepsis. Now, this is what we call invasive group A strep and what we are seeing lots of news reports about at the moment. This complication is rare, but because we're seeing a lot more cases of group A strep infection, we are seeing more complications than we normally would do. And sadly, a small number of children have died. This is why we'd like parents and carers to be extra mindful right now. If you want to know the signs of serious illness and sepsis in children to look out for, then just go to the NHS website where there are some really good explanations and videos of what to keep an eye out for. If your child has any signs of serious illness or sepsis, it's important that you get medical help straight away. If you have group A strep infection, like scarlet fever for instance, you will usually be given antibiotics such as penicillin. This is to reduce the chances of those complications and reduce the chances of passing it on to other people. Now penicillin can be really tricky for kids to take because it doesn't taste very nice. So I usually recommend mixing it in something like a small amount of jam. Most children with scarlet fever will be absolutely fine. They can usually go back to school after 24 hours of antibiotics, or if they haven't had them, they would have to wait at least two weeks. That's because we don't want them passing it on to other people. Not every child with a fever and sore throat needs antibiotics, and that's really important to remember. There are lots of other germs, including viruses, going round that will cause these symptoms. However, if you are worried and your child isn't getting better, then please speak to a healthcare professional. All of this information is also available on the nhs.uk website.